As I travel around the world doing book events, I am always struck by the number of uh, folks who are not only readers, but potential writers of murder mysteries and thrillers. Um, I was there once, someone who wanted to write but never had. I, I teach courses in writing, and I enjoy imparting, well, whatever wisdom I have to, uh, to young, or not necessarily young, but beginning writers. And I'd like to spend just a moment now to, to give you in a, a nutshell how I craft a book and hope that might be useful to you if in fact you do want to become a writer. And even if not, it might be helpful to know how I at least put together one of these miraculous little things we call books. First of all, I treat this as a business. I uh, consider myself the manufacturer of a, a product. I'm not an artist, not even sure what an artist was. I don't think uh, Beethoven and, and Shakespeare and Rembrandt really thought of themselves as artists. I think they were craftspeople who uh, created a, a wonderful uh, product that the audience wanted. Well, I, I believe the same. And as a, uh, a craftsperson, I, I spend a lot of time planning out the book first. I do extensive outlines before I write a single word. Uh, for instance, my new Lincoln Rhyme book, which I'm working on right now, is um, based on an outline that was about 140 pages long. It took me eight months to write that. When I do the outline, I know where every uh, clue is put into the book. I know where all the characters enter the book. I know when they leave the book, either vertically or horizontally, because I've been known to kill off a few characters. I, uh, I know where all the uh, surprise endings come from. I say surprise endings because I like to be surprised many times at the end of a book, and that's what I try to do in a Jeffrey Deaver thriller. Well, once the outline is, is finished, then I sit down and write the book itself. And it can go very quickly because I know where the story is going to take me. Uh, I don't believe in discovery. I don't believe in starting with a blank screen and writing forward and hoping that my mind will lead me in interesting directions. Plan it all out first, then write the book. And you're thinking, well, this is the part where I send it into the publisher? No. Ernest Hemingway said, there are no great writers. There are only great rewriters. Rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. I edit and rewrite each book of mine 30 or 40 times before another human being sees it. Then it goes to private editors that I've hired who, um, well, I hope take it apart and point out uh, mistakes in it. Comes back to me, I rewrite it yet again, and only then does it go off to the, the publisher. Um, writing a book is a, a, a joy for me. I, I love the idea of, of taking a story and making it into something that will excite and thrill fans. But that doesn't happen by miracle and it doesn't happen by some unseen muse tapping one on the head. It's sweat and hard work, but in the end, ultimately very rewarding.